Welcome back. It's time for domination on Octane. And we were discussing in the kind of the gap. This really is kind of the baby for Epsilon. Yeah, I mean, when I was in the team in, uh, in oh, TCM, gosh. we really we really struggled on this map, especially against Epsilon with their kind of dominant AR. As that said, it looks like Epsilon got quite a lot of people down. They're sucking gas, and TCM are on B right now. Oh, big kills there. They're going to get straight back on it, too. Oh, look, and they have Jerry coming in. Monkey answers back with one himself. Josh getting the nade in as well. Monkey needs to make a kill here. He's not. It's going to be Gunchy left to the defend here, and he's going for the power position. Yep. To get on the broken cheeks. However, it looks it like Epsilon like aren't even going to go for B right now. They're going to go straight for the A flag, and Gunch is trying to dip to broken. He takes a lot of shots from someone in gas. Oh, Josh, it, Josh, Josh wins it on it. Moose. That's a huge A from Market. I, I think oh, up. PD with a massive two piece to hold it down. They're going to go for the neutralize. Not able to get it. Swanee shutting down Gunch. Yeah. I mean, TCM have got off to a really good start here. PD is turning up. As I said, I think he's making up for lost ground here. She jumps and gets out of the way. Does actually get shut down by Jerd. He says, I know what you're doing. You're not going to escape me. Yep. Josh making a kill as well. Gunchy making one of the same. Jerd picking yes. up another kill of the same. And now both teams trying to make it down as Josh is catching fire. Yeah. I mean, I think someone from TCM just just flanked. Oh, they have a spawn diner or they just flanked Josh from behind. I'm not really sure. But uh, there's three TCM spawned up Motown. They're pushing out. But Epson are trying to seize map control right now and make a move on B. Yeah, they just like they're being posted up against their Moose. Trying to get them on Gunchy with a massive two piece to hold them off, though. TCM won every single point to make this journey. Josh going to get this another yep. one down. It's going to be Marky left alive. He gets a two piece Mark, himself. Well, huge oh, here. Can, can he get, he get a third? Oh, yes, he can. Mark, he shuts down Epsilon by himself. That was he insane. is going to get picked off by Swanee eventually, but he's done enough. Epsilon will not be able to capitalize there. Huge three piece from him. That is the difference between a, an Epsilon flag capture and TCM maintaining B. I mean, Peter has gone straight to C, which is a great play. But it's somebody, again, it's Marky B mid map. Can he pick up the second kill right here? Oh, <laughs> Marky B! Marky B has turned up! Yep. And now they're going to try and get it off. They've managed to get that neutralized in their favor as well. They want a huge lead this time round. And can Epsilon match them back? It's just Marky breaking them over his yeah, knee I, at the I'm, moment. I'm kind of speechless at how big Marky's just gone on two plays mid-map with a sub. That is unreal. I mean, Josh has just picked up a two-piece, and it looks like Epsilon is going to make a, a play for this B-flag, and it's only Moose that's in any position. He's top pawn. If he had a grenade, it would be a very different story, but he doesn't. No, he's going to be looked at. He's going to get taken down as well. Marky now going forward. So he's going to get shut down. They've gone for the split here. Who's that's going to make the play? It's going to be Petey. Petey's going to get shut down at the same time. Epsilon now slipping into control of this map. Yeah, I mean, TCM have built up a nice 20-point lead, but it looks like Epsilon now take control of that B flag, and they're going to look to slay out TCM before they can capture it back. Oh, look, they've actually gone straight for it. It's going to be... Who's that on the flag? Yep. It's going to be Petey. He needs to make a big kill, and he does. No one's going to be able to take him down. Nades are going to start raining in, and he has actually taken it back single. Oh! oh. No! The nade comes in from Jer to shut it down. Should be a quick cap, though, for Marky B. As another nade comes wow. in. I'm, I'm pretty confident that Epsilon have been practicing those nades because we have seen some hero grenades from Bat Paul and from the Epsilon squadron. Oh, another kill by Jer, and they're going to hold it neutral here at the moment. It's going to be Jer going back to defend his own one as well. He's going to get oh. taken down. What a ridiculous play. And they're going for the triple cap now. TCM are in trouble. Yep, I mean, TCM have got that, that strip spawn. And you saw oh, that was a huge win by Moose. That, that will allow them to maybe cap that A flag. That said, there's somebody from Epsilon bottom motel. But it looks like Gunch has got his help. Oh, Which, big kill yeah, from Gunch. Really big plays from TCM right there. I mean, they easily could have got three cap for a period of time there if they didn't make those kills. They did, and it's still going to be an advantage to TCM, but they don't have map control again. They weren't able to hold it, and now they're going to start moving forward. Here goes Jerd on him. Yeah. It's very, very close between these two teams. Yeah, absolutely. Tommy makes a big two-piece. Jerd going to come through, picks up another one as well. Epsilon trying to make yeah. back into this. It looks like we're going to go in the second half with almost no difference. Yeah, if, if Epsilon keep this up, I mean, TCM managed to get that motel spawn before any bit from anybody from Epsilon could pressure the motel and force them to spawn strip. So TCM are just trying to make these kills the motel and maybe make a move on B to gather some points in the, lo the last part of this, this half. Epsilon are locked in now. They, they know exactly what they're doing there. As a poster's up, Monkey with a big kill on Swanee, though. Tries to escape, not able to do it. And really, they need a string of kills to break free. TCM are going to be three capped again in the final seconds of the game as they slip out of the lead. Yep. And Petey's trying to make a play here. Moose will get shut down himself. Moose coming back to try and get A. It's damage control they need now, as it looks like they're going to slip quite far behind if this triple cap holds. Yeah, I mean, right. if I was TCM, I just need A right now. We don't want to get three cap for any much longer in this game, really, at all. I mean, I'd say Epsilon have gathered the most part of the kills in this game. But it was just those huge plays from Marky B and Mid Map that kind of kept TCM in it, if you like. Yeah, you can't rely on clutches, though. That's the problem. Yeah. You can't rely on a player going huge every time to save your bacon. And that's exactly what has happened here. It's going to be 85 to 72. 13 point lead for Epsilon in the second half. 
And you know what? I think Epsom are fairly happy with that. It was all TCM. Yeah. And suddenly, they kind of just broke. Yeah, I think that this is kind of what I expected from this match. I think I expected Epsom to outslay them because they tend to have that maybe a bit more, slightly more AOS Slayer power. And TCM, even on uh, Octane Dom, they like to run around a lot with SMGs. I mean, Marky B used to be renowned for being a bit of a campy AR player, but now, as you can see, he's pushing mid-map. He's trying to uh, make the clutch plays and big uh, big kills, but he pulled them off successfully at the start of the game, but then you saw Epsilon come back. They uh, managed to get a three-cap for a bit, and they managed to take that first half by uh, 13 points, was it? I felt like, yeah, I felt like, yeah, it was 13. I feel like TCM were a little bit more clutchy in that. But Epsilon were just more consistently good, especially yep. when they held them down. Agreed. They didn't need one player to make big kills. They yep. just all needed to make kills, and mm -hmm. that's what's actually happened. Yeah, I mean, like you said, TCM can't rely on those clutch players. They really need to pull together as a team right now and try and outplay Epsilon in the second half. Well, let's see if they can do it. TCM have to shoulder that weight and responsibility here. <clears> they <throat> let their lead slip. They let it go. And they have 13 points to make up and five minutes to do it in. They, I feel like the break will be the change again. Yeah. This is this is where it's all going to come down to. If TCM win the break, then they win the map. If they don't, Epsilon will lock that bad boy down. Yeah. Well, TCM are starting on the what's generally considered the better side. So, obviously, if they can get a really good break and if they can get to Motel and block that spawn before Epsilon spawn up there and they can force Epsilon to spawn strip, they could get a three cap, which, as we know, the, like how lucrative that three cap can be. I mean, you get 36 points per minute and you only get 12 points per minute with a two cap. Yes. If you can get that three cap at any point in the game, you really want to do that. It's, better, it's three times as much work. Every time you hold that for five second rotation, it takes 15 seconds of a two to one cap, which is the standard, to kind of come back into the yep. game. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that's why it's worth it. Yep. If you can get it, so a, a lot of people go for the neutralizer as well. They kind of just yep. so they don't die yeah. and keep their presence on the map here. But now for the break, it's Marky B we're going to be on board with. Yep. What can he do? He's rushed up to the strip and uh, he's just biding his time on the strip. Hummer's head glitch, calling out everything he sees to his team. Who is that who's trying to make a play? It's going to be Josh. Yeah. And he has to make this play here. Yeah, he I think he's going to get it. taken out from gas in the back. Oh, he's been seeing, yeah, yeah, he shut down. Yeah, but Another one down. It's going to be Tommy Arnson back in kind, though. PD moving forward. They want B. That is what they want. They're so desperate for it. Yeah. And he managed to get it. Right now, he's in, a, he's in a good position. If he can just wait for his team. I mean, he's, he, he got a bit ahead of himself, in my opinion, right there. He should have, maybe if he would just bite his time by being, like, waited for his players, his teammates, to make the kills around him, he could have made them all move for B. Maintaining that presence on the map. He's going to get shut down as well, though. Marky B, last one alive. Can he go clutch once again? He's posting up here. He's going to take... Oh, no! Oh. Misses the knife! And wow. that is unfortunate now, because it does mean Epsilon will have map control, and they're going to start putting yep. pressure on a yep. B. Although, what it looks like they're doing is ignoring it unless they, can, they get all down. Yep, I mean, Epsilon do have a member on B right now, and TCM really need to get him off of B if they can. Uh, they're reliant on a clutch grenade right now. Oh, he's going to get taken down, and that now slips in favour of Epsilon. I said whoever takes yep. this will take the map, and I'm going to stick by that as well. I don't think, unless TCM go god mode, this is pretty much going to be Epsilon's map now. Yeah, I mean, oddly enough, we're seeing Swanee with an SMG on Octane. I'm assuming he picked that up. Because uh, it's not natural for him to have a, an SMG on Octane, but it looks like Gunch is going to apply some home flag pressure, but he's going to get pinched by two players. Oh, he's trying to get it. Does not. Oh, gets a neutralized as well, though. Yeah. Alleviates a bit of pressure yeah. on the map. His T teammates coming to back him yeah, up. Yeah, TCM look like they're flooding the through to A, and they want to. If, if P can make this kill, there's a huge kill on Josh, oh, which he is. does manage to make. Well, there's, there's another player, yeah. Up, Swanee, ready for him. They're going to lose their home flag as well. It's going to be a triple cap in favor of Epsilon now. Yep. Epsilon are just kind of winning the bat individual battles on each flag right now. I mean, TCM are obviously playing aggressively with a lot of SMGs, but Epsilon are reading them perfectly. I mean, they're, they're expecting that kind of home flag pressure. They've got a guy set up Motel. I'm not sure who it is, but he could get a two-piece right here. Shut down. He's another one there. Can Petey make this big kill? Well, Petey does manage to make it. They're going to lose the home flag anyway, TCM. But time is ticking away from them. If you want to go huge, now is the time to do it. Yeah, TCM really needs something special now. I mean, obviously, they lost that first half. They're down in the second half. They do not have control of that B flag, and that has kind of been uh, the devil for them right here. They can't get... They can't get to that B flag with the AR play, uh, the AR players for Epsilon right now. They're just locking the, da the map Maybe down this, too this much. This map Look at Tommy and Swanee. Well. We talked about it. They're the, they're the ARs with Epsilon on this oh, map. Oh, Marky B. Clearly, this man has a point to prove. And it looks like they're going to go for the triple cap here. This could be the reversal. Oh, wow. Can they get it two on? Yep. They managed to get it. I think it should be done. They have. They've got it now. Marky B going to go challenge C. Can he hold this one down? This is where it's going to become crucial. 
They need every single point. And he gets oh. a knife as well. Can he get the second? He did actually see that second one there. He's going to come back. He gets a two piece as well. Marky is coming clutch when his team need him. He needs this neutralized at the same time to get these points back. He's going to get shut down before it. Oh, that was unfortunate from Marky right there. He's playing out of his skin for his team though right now. And they have time. They can come back into this now. They yeah. need to hold it for the remainder though. They need that two to one to lock in. Is, is the two cap going to be enough right now? It will be just, just enough. They are down by 13 points in yeah. the first half. They will just be enough. They have to every, every single second ready to make it fun of their contest. And yeah. they get another one down. It's only going to be Jerd that's going to be last alive pushing. And I feel like if a flank comes in here, TCM will crumble. Yeah. It looks like set up. Yeah, it look looks like them set up. Yeah, TCM have two members that are broken right now. If they can make these kills right here, they can put some more uh, flag pressure on the C flag. But Swanee gets a big kill moves top. Top broken P. He wins the battle bottom broken, but he's got Swanee to contend with top and another one tank. So Epson do his. manage to break out of broken. They do, and this is going to be a problem here. They cannot let anybody be Moose not going to cut back. Who is that who's managed to get the flank on? It's going to be Jerd. Jerd, if he managed to put this one in, it's only Gunty left alive. And Gunty has to do some sort of incredible god mode here. Yeah, and he's actually going for the C flag. That's an interesting play. If they can keep their A flag, nobody nobody from Epson is anywhere near Gunch right now. Moose needs to go huge on this A flag, though. He gets one. He's got two more players to contend with. He's running away. Oh, he managed to do something in who's No, he's going to get shut down. He really did not expect three Epsilon players to be at that A flag. We don't, and now PCM are in dire straits. This is not what they needed. They needed a hole for the rest. They weren't able to. Yeah, they, ne they need a three cap now. They're actually well. capping B. Oh, Josh comes out with a huge kill on Moose, though. Oh, Josh. Jo Josh with the two piece. That may secure the map for Epsilon right there. It does. There's only three points ahead. They don't have the time or the means to do it. They'd have to triple cap right now. And that is going to be yep. over. We're going to a second series. It's going to be Epsilon that take this map. And now it's all square as we go forward once again. Yep. So TCM actually suffer their first series defeat of EGL 12. And Epsilon forced the second best out of five. They most certainly do. And that was a close run game there, but just clutch by, I mean, Swanee, 13 and 6. Tommy, 14 and 7. You said the ARs. This is Epsilon's baby. Yep. This is where their strengths play in. It was it was a similar story to the first half, as you can see in the kill. I um, mean, Epsilon outslayed TCM, and TCM were kind of, again, feeding off of those clutch kills, which unfortunately they weren't enough. Uh, they couldn't make enough of them. But we're actually going to go do a quick break here. And that, well, just before we go, and I kind of agree with what you were saying about Epson, if to me, it kind of feels like no matter what the map situation type, if they have an up close and SMG battle, you've got Josh and Joe to kind of carry it. Mm -hmm. You need to go long range, you've got Swanee and Tommy. Yeah. There is no weakness you can really pick on there. They've just got this incredible strength and core. But we're going to go to a break, and when we come back, it will be the second best of five between these two teams. See you then.